Hello dear children, welcome to your channel NT English Teacher. Dear children, please subscribe your channel for future videos. Today we will learn direct speech and indirect speech interrogative sentences. Let us read the following sentences. Ravi said, Do I write a letter? This is direct speech. Ravi asked whether or if he wrote a letter. This is indirect speech. Let us understand deeply the direct and indirect speech. Ravi said, Do I write a letter? Here, said is a reporting verb. Do I write a letter is actual spoken words of the speaker, Ravi. And it is divided into two parts by a comma. And we put the actual spoken words in double inverted comma. These are the features of direct speech. How to change this direct speech into indirect speech? That's very important. First important thing you need to know the reporting verb here. Ravi said anadana. This is called reporting sentence. It is reporting sentence. Munde etakanta actual spoken words. Interrogative yes or no type. Ide artha mar koli. Yiga nau yen mar be kapan tandre. Idu interrogative agiro drinda. He said reporting verb na badlaone mar kote ve. Ask tanta heli. Idu bag ega gle hindi na video dalin ano imge hele lagide. How to change the reporting verb. You can refer or you can watch that video again. A video na matte nodi idhen tilko bodo. One the reporting verb said it do. Mundina vakya andre actual spoken words. Adu interrogative agitre. Said it dena katte ask ta katte. Adhe reporting sentence na idhar kono idhen subject ravi verb matra change agitre asked. Said it do ask ta katte. Ravi asked whether or if nodi. If yes or no type argue the in the now only whether or if on a bus go to a moon chain bus go to the way that and a bus go to the way I can read the statement I get to assertive sentence I get to but I lay the interrogative sentence I get in the whether or if on a bus go to a way whether a bus go to if for a bus go to do it out my lay in a Monday very color a lean on what you want to hack it and you do assertive sentence and they now, interrogative na assertive marko beku. Idu simple present agaranda assertive bala easy agi find out marko bodu. I write a letter. Idu assertive sentence. Andre indirect speech ali. Now, interrogative na assertive agi convert marko teve. Modulige reporting statement na hachko teve. Reporting verb na badl marko teve. Amele whether or if na hachko teve. Amele, the actual spoken words interrogative na na vien matteve assertive marko teve. So I write a letter simple present. If the out and sal badla agbe kiga simple past ge. So adhikhe pronoun I the I andre ravi adhikhe he achkundi thene he write the do simple past wrote he wrote a letter. Ili question mark itto ili full stop ali end agatte. I hope you understood how to change an interrogative into assertive and how to change that interrogative direct speech into indirect speech interrogative. Remember, in indirect speech, the question mark is removed and the full stop is used here. And we use whether or if for interrogative yes or no type remember yes or no type question ge matra nao whether or if na balsko teve let us understand one more example see here ravi said why do i write a letter this is a question we call it wrh question ile wrh question bandirutte makle mahala sarala idinu sulpa artha markolana said is reporting verb why do I write a letter is actual spoken word and we divide these two sentences into two parts 
reporting sentence and actual spoken words by a comma and the actual spoken words are put in double inverted commas then how to change it into indirect speech indirect speech ge hege badalavana markobeku antakkantadu igagle nanu hindina slide alli helidde ravi said it denagutte ravi asked yakandre idu question wrh question sentence interrogative sentence so ili wh wrh question word galu yen bartavalla adanne naavu conjunction aagi balaskotteve ili why ana why age ittukotteve munde ee vakyavanna assertive maadkotteve nodi he wrote a letter a ididdu he aitu write ididdu wrote aitu a letter letter question mark is removed and full stop is used i hope you understood how to change wrh interrogatives into indirect speech very easy first you need to change the verb form here ravi asked then why you need to return why here as conjunction then you need to change the next part into assertive interrogative into assertive i write a letter simple present i wrote a letter simple past let us change direct speech into indirect speech with few more example if the interrogative is in simple present ravi said do i eat an apple the answer is ravi asked whether he ate an apple it is already said you can use if or whether here igagle em helide if or whether ana balasko bodu illa nan whether ana matra balaskondidane i used it only whether so the simple present changed into simple past so let us understand the present continuous sentence ravi said am i eating an apple ravi asked whether he was eating an apple so present continuous changed into past continuous present perfect tense ravi said have i eaten an apple ravi asked whether he had eaten an apple so the present perfect changed into past perfect present perfect continuous tense ravi said have i been eating an apple ravi asked whether he had been eating an apple so present perfect continuous tense change into past perfect continuous tense let us understand simple past tense example ravi said did i eat an apple ravi asked if he had eaten an apple remember we can use if for whether here i used if here instead of whether here so the simple past becomes past perfect tense past continuous tense ravi said was i eating an apple ravi asked whether he had been eating an apple so the past continuous changed into past perfect tense let us understand past perfect tense example ravi said had i eaten an apple ravi asked whether he had eaten an apple so the past perfect means past perfect no change past perfect continuous tense ravi said had i been eating an apple ravi asked whether he had been eating an apple so the past perfect continuous tense remains past perfect continuous tense there is no change in tense form okay let us understand simple future tense ravi said shall i eat an apple ravi asked whether he would eat an apple so this is conditional past future continuous ravi said shall i be eating an apple ravi asked whether he would be eating an apple conditional past okay children so far you understood yes or no type interrogative now we learn how to change wrh questions interrogative into indirect speech ravi said to roma what are you doing now what you are doing now this is assertive statement you can say 
how to change the interrogative into assertive here wh is retained same what you are doing are you doing now you are doing now so this is assertive this is statement now let us change it into indirect speech ravi asked roma what she was doing so you refers to roma here so the pronoun changed here she and this is present continuous that change into past continuous she was doing makle wrh question na yatha rite gitkondidane modali gadana assertive markonde interrogative idana assertive markonde what anna hage itkondidane mundina vakya vanna en madide nanu are you doing now idana you are doing now assertive aitu adu iga indirect speech alli reporting statement anna itkonde so reporting sentence anna itkondidana igile munde what conjunction itkondidane munde you are doing now you andre yarile roma adakke avulige sambandhapattirtakkanta pronoun she matte illi you are doing now idu present continuous adakke idu past continuous agutte she was doing then so now changes into then artha maadkoli the word related to time changes in indirect speech so now becomes then now i hope you understood it let us understand one more example suman said to rohit where have you played cricket so first we need to change that interrogative into assertive statement so where where no change here so have you played you have played so you need to interchange the subject and helping verb subject matu helping verb na interchange madidre especially simple past matu ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಅನ್ನ ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಉಳಿದೆಲ್ಲ ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ನೀವು ಮಾಡಬೇಕಾಗಿದೆ ಇಷ್ಟೇ ಅಸರ್ಟಿ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳೋದಕ್ಕೆ ಇಂಟರ್ಚೇಂಜ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಹೆಲ್ಪಿಂಗ್ ವರ್ಬ್ ಹೆಲ್ಪಿಂಗ್ ವರ್ಬ್ ಮತ್ತು ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ನ ಇಂಟರ್ಚೇಂಜ್ ಮಾಡೋದು ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ನ ಈ ಕಡೆ ತರೋದು ಹೆಲ್ಪಿಂಗ್ ವರ್ಬ್ ನ ಈ ಕಡೆ ತಂದ್ರೆ ಅದೇನಾಗತ್ತೆ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಗತ್ತೆ ಅಥವಾ ಅಸರ್ಟಿ ಸೆಂಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಗತ್ತೆ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಪ್ಲೇಡ್ ಕ್ರಿಕೆಟ್ ನೋಡಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ ಇತ್ತು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಫುಲ್ ಸ್ಟಾಪ್ ಇದೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ ರಿಮೂವ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಫುಲ್ ಸ್ಟಾಪ್ ಅನ್ನು ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೇವೆ ಲೆಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಟ್ರೈ ಟು ಚೇಂಜ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಂಟು ಇಂಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಸುಮನ್ ಆಸ್ಟ್ ರೋಹಿತ್ ಸೊ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಈ ಸೆಂಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ರಿಪೋರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಸೆಂಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ನಾವು ಏನ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೇವೆ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಬದಲಾವಣೆ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡಿದ್ದೇವೆ ಸೇಡ್ ಟು ಇದ್ದು ಆಸ್ಕ್ಡ್ ಆಯ್ತು ಯಾಕಂದ್ರೆ ಇದು ಸೇಡ್ ಟು ರಿಪೋರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ವರ್ಬ್ ಬಟ್ ಇದು ಇಂಟ್ರಾಗೇಟ್ ಆಗಿರೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಸೈಡ್ ಹೋಗಿ ಆಸ್ಕ್ಡ್ ಆಗತ್ತೆ ಸುಮನ್ ಆಸ್ಟ್ ರೋಹಿತ್ ವೇರ್ ಅದೇ ರೀತಿ ನಾವು ಇಟ್ಕೋತೀವಿ ನೋ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಆಸ್ ಕಂಜಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇದನ್ನ ಕಂಜಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಬಳಸ್ಕೊತೀವಿ ವೇರ್ ಅನ್ನೋದನ್ನ ಡಬ್ಲ್ಯೂ ಆರ್ ಎಚ್ ಅನ್ನ ಮುಂದಿನ ವಾಕ್ಯವನ್ನ ನಾವ್ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಈಗ ಇಂಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಪೀಚ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಬಳಸ್ಕೋಬೇಕು ವಿತ್ ಟ್ಯಾನ್ಸ್ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಇದು ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಪರ್ಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಇದೆ ನಾವ್ ಈಗ ಮಾಡ್ಕೋಬೇಕಾಗಿದ್ದು ಪಾಸ್ಟ್ ಪರ್ಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಯು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಯಾರಲ್ಲಿ ರೋಹಿತ್ ಹಿ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಪ್ಲೇಡ್ ಕ್ರಿಕೆಟ್ ವೇರ್ ಹಿ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಪ್ಲೇಡ್ ಕ್ರಿಕೆಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಇಂಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಪೀಚ್ ಓಕೆ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ಐ ಹೋಪ್ ಯು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟುಡ್ ಸೋ ಫಾರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಂಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಪೀಚ್ ಸ್ಪೆಷಲಿ how to change interrogative sentence direct speech into interrogative in that speech dear children please subscribe your channel for future videos we will meet again in the next video till then have a nice day